I'm going to fill up the Mazda with oil, leave it there, then ch check back for the oil level. Because if you remove the oil pan, usually it takes 5 liters of oil when you do the oil change, but what I notice when you remove the oil pan, it always takes more, so I'll let the oil to get down to the oil pan and then check with the oil dipstick. Uh, if, and if it will be needed, I'll top it up. I put back the plastics from underneath to the Mazda, filled up with oil. What I want to mention or just to make a note of it, like I don't understand some people how they fix cars or why they do it that way. So basically what was the case? Um, they didn't put, you know, that plastic tabs. If you're familiar with the Mazdas, they use 10 millimeter bolts in the front. I don't know, maybe five, no, six, eight of them. I'm not sure. So they use 10 millimeter bolts on the front of the engine under tray and then a plastic tabs or rivets uh, on the rear and the, the guy was missing all the rivets or tabs but someone i don't know if it was him or someone they just put like a self-tapping screws and just next to the where the that that tab should go next to it they just just they just screwed this one in i don't i can't understand you can buy a whole set for i don't know maybe 20 pounds and you get a various like like sizes and then lengths everything so just just get that one and replace it properly so yeah mazda is is done still need to reset the oil chain uh, oil change interval and the oil dilutions the oil data i'm going to that when, when it's going to be dark so i cannot work on the cars anymore or any longer so i'm going to do that later and take it for a test drive and then if i'm happy with the result i'm let i let the owner know that the car is ready to be picked up i took the Mazda 6 which was here for the valve cover or like a top end cleaning and oil strain and replacement so I took it for a test drive I drove 53 and a half miles and apart from two issues which were, were, uh, appeared on the dash which one was the low tire pressure and the low fuel tank so apart from those two issues nothing came back I drove it, it pulled um, it drives nicely uh, MPG was around 47 MPG on that distance so it is fine I did reset the data for the oil change for the dilution so it looks fine again I checked the oil pressure at it was around 88 degrees of Celsius the oil pressure so I checked it 2000 rpm it was 180 perfect and at 3500 rpm it was like 390 again perfect but i noticed like two issues with the car vacuum pump that will be need uh, replacement very soon i would say even when the owner brought the car to me when i pressed the brake but i'll just only once the scbs fault code appeared and i checked that was fault fault code stored for the vacuum pump uh, so yeah that will need replacement in the future and also i checked uh, the injector correction factors the values and they i would say one is very like definitely out of the specs the fourth injector um which one obviously had that build up around it that carbon chunks jelly ish build up around the injector hole so that needs in my opinion a replacement or refurbishment at least and maybe other two the second and third they were like bit Aqua. the first one was very close to zero which is good and uh, the other two was like a bit further from zero but definitely which i would replace is the fourth one if that's the case so those two things i, I noticed and obviously the car still needs the carbon cleaning but yeah that's it this is how it turned out uh the oil strain replacement solved the issue but the top end the cleaning was necessary because even if you just change the oil strainer the dirt is still and the sludge is still in the top end so that can get down from from top into the oil pan again and it just fills up your oil strainer again and like it shortens its life, lifetime so yeah thank you guys for watching um, and hopefully see you in the next one thank you bye